Look, isn't there anything else you can tell me? You may be the key to uncovering the relationship between what's happening now and what happened to the dinosaurs. Hey, what'd you do that for? She can't remember anything. Why don't you just leave her alone? Sorry, I didn't know. If you like aliens so much, I can introduce you to some I know. My mother was abducted by aliens. Really? When did it happen? Was it an isolated event or were there recurrences? I was just kidding. Not too bright, are you? I got you bright. Come on, let's leave Captain Cosmos here alone and get some rest. Let's go out for a while after we rest. Maybe we'll find out something. I'd really like to get off this mountain. And you have to find that guy David, too. <laughs> Who's there? Who's there? M M Mother? Is it you? Well, guess not. Go away! I don't know who you are or what you want, but I have to play this song right! <laughs> practice, 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 practice. Do you understand? Now leave me alone! <sighs>
that man upstairs. Not much fun to talk to, huh? I guess we should be grateful that he's letting us use his house. He must be tired. Try and get some rest. Mm. What the hell do you think you're doing? You shouldn't take that stuff. Who are you to tell me what I can and can't do? I know I don't have any right, but I just want you to take control of your life. Spare me the speeches. You've got to understand, it's wrong to give yourself over to these chemicals. You won't be yourself anymore. As if anyone cares. Well, if it makes you feel any better, well, I do. <sighs> you can't just drift in a narcotic dream and call it life. You're bartering yourself away for a make-believe world, paying with pain, yours and others. So what's the difference between that and how those pathetic monsters exist? Fine. There's not much chance that I'll make it out of here anyway. And even if I did, I'd just be alone again. In the dark. I'd rather turn into a monster and not have to think or remember or feel anything anymore. Don't say things like that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't bother. For all your fancy talk, you're just like any other man. All you need is an excuse to start hitting. That's not true. I just want to help. I only want to make you feel safe. You're... I... Morning. Sorry you had to see me at my worst again. I know he's right, but I just can't seem to act normal around men. I feel like such a... such a wreck. Uh, are you going out too? Well, be careful. I'll stay here. 
Okay. If we ever get out of here, knock on wood, I should tell you after it happens. <laughs> Who's there? I see. You're the final visitor prophesized in this book. <laughs> Stay and listen to what I have to say about Knife's prophecy. Have you ever heard of William Knife? Last year, he prophesied in his book that a holy figure who oversees the balance of all things would soon come and serve the people responsible for all wrongdoings. <laughs> Do you know what I'm speaking of? I'm talking about that meteorite that hit the northern mountain that gave off a golden hue. To protect this turning star from the crimson shadow and awaken from the folds of time, an ancient lord of destruction. <coughs> Only then will hope lie with a child of destiny, born on both shores of history. <coughs> terrible, terrible things. A golden flush tinted the sky, and on that northern mountain, fearfully known as Death Mountain, fell the meteor. Thus, the prophecy is fulfilled, and you are possibly... No, I ought not ask. It is not sanctioned to involve an outsider in this zealotry. Hence, go safely, my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> 